Beach, the vice mayor wants to increase the curb appeal of the city. He says one way to do that is by requiring places that sell tobacco paraphernalia to tint their windows. Yeah, Vice Mayor Thomas Turkin wants to hide things like bongs and other smoking devices from people's view as they walk past businesses. CBS 12's Amber Rob joining us tonight in Boynton Beach with more on the vice mayor's concerns about all of this. Amber. Jim and Liz, Vice Mayor Turkin says he's heard complaints from several residents about seeing items like paraphernalia out when they're walking, just out in the open. And he's proposing a new ordinance that would make it so that families and kids wouldn't have to see items like bongs when they're out. Putting paraphernalia out of view. I mean, I as a parent, I'm different. You know, if I was a parent, I'm walking with my five-year-old. I don't want that five-year-old pointing at paraphernalia and asking what that is. At a city commission meeting this month, Boynton Beach Vice Mayor Thomas Turkin said he wants to implement an ordinance that requires shops that sell tobacco paraphernalia to tint their windows, putting things like bongs out of sight. So I think as a city, we need to have some form of consistency. And I think curb appeal is important, especially when we want to invest in our city. The ordinance is something Lighthouse Vape and Smoke Shop owner Len Jones says he already follows and would support. As a business owner, what is in our windows, um, you want it to be friendly to everybody. Um, not everybody has a certain taste for what we sell. He says from outside, people walking by can see the signage, candles and incense burners. But you have to go inside to see the more exotic items. You have to go probably past the first third of the store before you start to see the water pipes and the vape pens and the different products that you know are all available. But some commissioners, like Amy Kelly, think requiring window tinting would make the city less attractive. You know, by us forcing tinting, dark tinting, it, we're just going to be looking at black walls or black window fronts, and it's not going to be appealing. Kelly thinks maybe a better idea might be to require that displays be further back and away from the windows. The commission is looking into ideas on what kind of ordinance to bring forward. Reporting live in Boynton Beach, I'm Amber Rob, CBS 12 News.